Hey everybody, this is Coach Tyra from Tyra Vapes, and I'm coming to you today with a one tank review of Space Jam. And where's the flavor name? Omega. Space Jam Omega. I went to my local brick and mortar today and picked up a bottle because I need to have some juice. And um, got myself some 6 milligram Space Jam because I had such success with it last time when I got the Venus, which was a peanut butter flavor. Fantastic. Love that. I wanted to try another flavor, so I went with a. I looked online first to pick out a flavor, so when I went in the store, I'd be know what I wanted. And I got the Omega, which is a peaches and cream. And um, let me go ahead to the website and tell you all about it. Space Jam. Love their website. How much fun! SpaceJamJuice.com. website is awesome. Omega. Sophisticated blend of delicious spiced peaches topped with sweet cream would take you out of this world. I don't know about spiced peaches. I don't think so. No. What spice? I taste peach. It's not really candy or overly sweet. It's not like bubble gum sometimes. You know, it'll taste like it's not like that. It's just nice. And you have to... I turned it up to 13 watts to pull more flavor because I wasn't getting the cream. And peach is not my favorite thing. So I wanted to have some cream. And when I turned it up to 13 watts, there it was. Uh, it's better warm. I like it a lot. It'll get vaped. The body, the bottle will get emptied. Um, and it's not one of those, ah, what did I buy? And oh my God, you know, it, it's, it's one of those things, you know, it's a $10 bottle. Um, it's not the cheapest thing in the world. It's not the most expensive, but it's not the cheapest. And, you know, it's a 50-50 blend. So that's what it is. It's going to move through your coil just fine. It's not going to produce giant clouds or giant flavor, but it's going to have the perfect amount of both additives or stabilizers that they use, you know, one that produces more vapor, one that holds more flavor. So for that kind of thing, Space Jam's really dependable, guys. This is my second flavor. The first one I had was Venus, and that was um, golden roasted marshmallows with peanut butter. Oh, to die for! I definitely, I think I'm more of a de dessert kind of person. I think that's where my taste buds are going. However, for fruit, this is great. I don't know. I love Hubble Bubble. I can't get enough of that. I think I'm finished. Jeez. Yeah, I think my Hubble Bubble is a goner. No, my pumpkin pie is definitely a goner. If I could just read. Yeah, my Hubble Bubble is close to being finished. And that's a fruit. Um, that's really yum. Um, we went through the victory liquid already. It's gone. It's gone. Pole position is finished. Call it a day. So the warmer this gets, the more I like it. I don't know what you're using for equipment. If you're a relatively new and you already have the ego twist, go ahead and start talking to yourself about a 20 watt small mod regulated. This guy is the eye stick. I like it. People love it. Some people love it. I don't know if I love it. I have nothing to compare it to. But the warmer you get on that, the better the flavor comes out. I have it, of course, in my Nautilus BBC, Nautilus Mini, and that produces great flavor. So that's the story. Soon I'll have something to compare it to because I am getting an IPv3. It'll be here Tuesday. I am putting an Atlantis sub ohm tank on there. And uh, that's what I chose. Until that Delta is readily available everywhere I go, I wanted to go with the Atlantis. I do have one Kanger tank here in the house, and even though it's a newbie tank, it's like a total newbie little tank, it sucks so bad, I can't express how bad it sucks. I can't express to you how fucked up 
this tank is and if any other other tanks are acting like that I don't know I say you know how you do one thing is probably how you do them all okay those little plastic ones that that you can get these guys fantastic flavor it's just a fantastic little thing they're plastic so you you know if you get the a tank breaker you're gonna be in trouble but leakage is very minimal if at all produces good flavor it doesn't hold a whole bunch so you gotta keep your eye on it and whatnot but you can clean it last forever it goes on and on and on cheap easy to find replacement parts and that's the if you're gonna just have an ego and use a tank just throw that on there or get the Aspire VV Nova that seems to be what I'm upgrading everyone's tanks in here for too but um yeah that so ah Ah, so I decided to go with something that's been around for at least a, a month. <laughs> it went with the Aspire Atlantis, and um, so I'm excited. So you'll be seeing some cloud chucking coming your way. I don't know if I'm going to be putting any 50-50 blend in there. I might. I don't know. I have no idea. I guess that's okay, right? You know, it's, it's not a matter of battery safety. It'll wick nicely, so... I may be, this might still be around in the house when that happens. Then we'll check out uh, cloud production with that. Um, other than that, I'm excited. I got some Dr. Krimis on the way. I can't wait to steep that for you all. That's a juice you have to steep. The price is beautiful. So if you know what you like and you can wait a little while, once you get it at the house, you're going to be in great shape. So I'm excited about that. I can't wait to actually say that for real. That's what I've heard. I haven't seen anybody hate on their juice yet. And if you're like me, you're looking to videos to help you find new things. You're looking to videos to learn about vaping. You're looking at videos to see if you might want to try a flavor like that. I'm not a big peach fan and I like this, okay? I'm not a big peach fan in real life. I'm not a big peach fan in e-liquids. And I like this vape. This is an awesome little vape so if you like peaches and cream you're gonna like it your space jam is a great go-to in-store buy it's just easy you know ten dollars for 15 milliliters and it's just easy guys and the company's fun I like it oh my gosh I don't know so I'm excited about that and so I think I'm done with this video you know, I could go on and on and on and make it a vlog, but I don't think that's the correct thing to do because it's a juice review. That's right. It's a juice review. So I give, if there were star, oh, let me do the, like the out the nose. I don't know what happened there. Nothing wrong with it out the nose. More peaches that way. More like fresh fruit. Let's go in the nose. Just wonderful. On the French exhale, just wonderful. On the nose exhale. So you're in good shape with this. You're not going to go wrong. I don't think so. In my opinion. And this is completely subjective to me. So if you dig my opinions, great. I can't wait. Um, Sarah's getting a couple of juices for her birthday, so we'll be doing reviews on them when that happens. So I'm really excited about that. And that's it for now. Space Jam, Omega, four out of five stars. You know, for the basic vapor. On an E-Leaf Ice Stick with the Nautilus Mini. Maybe three, because I've got some five-star juices, and I've got some four-star juices. So maybe it's a three-star. But the, this will get finished. It will not just get vaped halfway, and then nobody wants to use it anymore. That's not going to happen. Everyone's going to love it. But I won't start hoarding it like I'm hoarding Hubble Bubble already. and Like I hoarded the pumpkin pie, which is gone. You know, so we'll see. I love you all a long time. This is Tara Bakes. Please drop me a like. Leave me a comment. Say whatever you want. If I like your comment, it's going to stay. If I don't like your comment, I'm going to delete it. <laughs> I don't do trolls. And uh, visit me on Facebook, Tara Vapes. I'm on Twitter. That's my whole me account. That's all of me. 
and that's Tara Woodruff. Uh, G plus Tara Vapes. Facebook Tara Vapes. YouTube Tara Vapes. I keep that separate. Twitter, I'm not making a separate account. You just get all of me there. Okay? I love you all a long time. Peace.